Hello everyone, and welcome to a pretty special episode. This is, there's a lot of new stuff this episode. So first of all, uh, if you're a little bit perceptive, you might have noticed that the thumbnail to this video is a little bit different. It's got like a, an orange theme and a different sort of style to it. And if you're even more perceptive, you might have also noticed that my profile picture is different. It's a little uh, Q, it used to be my face, and now it's a little orange Q with the same sort of style to it. And if you're more perceptive and maybe a little bit curious, you might have gone to my channel and seen that my channel art is also different than that same style and everything. And, uh, well, if you're perceptive to the point of being psychic, then I guess you know that uh, the outro picture to this episode is going to be different as well. At the end, there's going to be uh, that screen, which is normally silver, and now it's orange, and that new design and everything. And, uh, yeah, I made all new channel art for my channel. And I think... See, this is always... I'm not a very artistic person, so it's always sort of... Uh, a mystery to me whether or not something looks good after I make it because I'm like well I mean I think it looks good but it might just be that I've spent so much time looking at it I'm kind of blind to it so let me know what you think of the new style uh, I'm gonna keep it for at least a little bit I'm not sure about the profile picture whether I'll keep that or if I'll go back to uh, my beautiful Minecraft face but uh, another new thing well you can actually hear music in the background although <laughs> I chose the perfect time, a song is ending right now. But uh, I did that for a little while before in a couple of other episodes. You can hear another one starting now. Oh, a country song. I think there's like one country-esque song and this is it uh, in the playlist. But I got a bunch of royalty-free music from uh, a few different places. I always link to them in the description. And uh, yeah, I made a new playlist and I might play it while I record every once in a while. Maybe not all the time, but it's nice to have some music in the background. Uh, but, you're probably wondering, what is this place? Uh, well, to me, to me, this place is very familiar. This is my single-player world from... Oof. When did I start this? Probably Minecraft 1.3-ish, a, a few years ago, like two or three years ago. Uh, I remember starting the world right when Desert Villages came out. Because I remember I was looking for a desert village, and this, this what you see right here, was a desert village, and that's why I chose this place. And uh, I've definitely made a lot of changes to it. But when Desert, desert Villages first came out, uh, they were just kind of like regular villages. They just had uh, the same building blocks. They didn't have sandstone or anything like that. So, uh,. These ended up being, like, that's why, well, I guess this is stone brick now. I changed it, but that's why the style here isn't sandstone. It's, like, more wood for the most part in the houses. Uh, but, yeah, why are we why are we on here? Oh, and we should go sleep because uh, even though I think this village is safe, it's it's definitely not. I see, I see mobs. I want to think it's safe, but I definitely see mobs every once in a while in here, so let's go sleep. Uh, why are we in this world? I want to give you guys... A little bit of a tour. I hopped on here the other day and I just felt so inspired. Ooh, the inspiration. See the inspirational music. Starts playing already. Oh, this is from when I when I played Starbound this music. Uh yeah, I just felt so inspired by this place and I there are all these things, all these projects that are unfinished and all these old things that I've done uh, in the past. Like this 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 was my first ever redstone war. Oh gosh. He's a creeper. Let's uh, kill him. Yeah, see, mobs can spawn in here. For sure. Anybody else? Yeah, it's my first ever redstone door. So I, I came on here and I felt really inspired. And I want to give you guys a tour. And that's what I'm going to start with. There's like there's a ton of places in this world. This is just the first, the first sort of area I built in. Uh, and there's also, I mean, you can see more stuff down there. You can see this giant snow globe. But I want to give you guys a tour, and it might be uh, a tour in a few episodes because there's a lot of stuff to show. And after that, uh, who knows? I might I might start a let's play on here. I'm feeling like I wanna I wanna do a lot of stuff. Like there are so many things. Uh, <laughs> oh man, there's just so much stuff there. Then so much stuff that I want to like change and and do stuff with and add new farms to and all sorts of cool stuff. So. 
without further ado, uh, this is going to be the first tour episode of my world. There might be maybe like two or three episodes. I don't know. We'll see how fast it goes. There is a lot of stuff here, and I'll probably miss stuff. So after the tour episodes, if we do start a Let's Play, we might run into some stuff that I forgot existed or something like that. But this is going to be my first tour episode, and then after the tour episodes, if I still feel inspired to play on here, then we might start a little single-player Let's Play. So, uh, without further ado, let's start the tour. Alright, so let's start this tour. Uh, I've lowered the music volume a ton because I realized that it was pretty loud in the last one. Uh, it was kind of like equal to my voice, which is too much. It should just be in the background a little bit. And uh, I thought I had tested it, but Windows is like... I was using Windows Media Player to play the music, and it kept resetting its volume, which is annoying. Anyway, let's start the tour right here. This is... Oh, thank you, chicken. <laughs> uh, this is my main base, and... Boy, what was the inspiration to start this? I think when I, when I first built this, uh, it was one of the first... I mean, this is so early in my Minecraft experience. I hear a spider. I heard a mob here before and I spent like 20 minutes. There is a spider! Oh my gosh. I don't know what this is doing here. Oh, I can't believe it. Where is he? Alright, we're just gonna have to ignore him. I spent like 20 minutes digging and I found a zombie in like a, a 1 by 2 dark area down there. So I might have to dig through there again. There's a lot of like empty dark space in this world way too much anyway this is really early in my minecraft experience this is like one of my first survival worlds i've had maybe like two others before this but i didn't really build a lot on them i was just sort of you know some mines and some simple houses and i was just getting to know the game and dying so much at night time and everything like that in good old minecraft days so this is like one of my first builds and i planned it out and everything and if we if we go up can we go somewhere that's like a little bit higher up? Let's just go on this wall. It's a really small building. And this is actually like maybe my third version of it. Uh, I, I kept redoing it because I would realize that it was it was really lame. But anyway, I had this idea that this was this massive, massive build. Like this was going to be a, a huge base that I built. And it's really not. It's really pretty small. But inside, I got my storage uh, system here. All sorts of cool stuff. Uh, oh, oh! Oh, this is my glitched bow! Okay, so there was a glitch. I don't know if anyone remembers this, but there used to be a glitch uh, in Minecraft where sometimes when you would use up... I don't know if I actually if it was like a normal glitch or if this just happened to me, but it happened to me once, and I was using this bow, and I used it for the last time, and it, it you know did the breaking animation, but it reappeared in my inventory. Like, that was a pretty common glitch. But this bow reappe reappeared <laughs> with full durability. And uh, it didn't have this little minus two. At least it didn't used to. I don't know why that's here. But with this bow, what I could do is I could pick it up. And if I right-clicked with it, I would duplicate it. It would make a copy of itself and have full durability. So if I... I wonder... Is it still going to work? No, it doesn't still work, but it just has that minus two. So yeah, I used to just build like scroll across and just make infinite power for flame one bows as many as I wanted. Oh, I can't believe that bow is still here. I thought it would have like disappeared in the new update. Uh, and I can't like shift click like right now. I'm shift clicking. It won't go anywhere. Uh, what else can't I do? I can't right click it down and I can do that with normal items. Uh, can I do it with a bow? Yeah, I can do it with a bow. So it's definitely glitched. Uh, they fixed, I guess, the fact that I could just infinitely duplicate them. Uh, I think that was that was in the game for a while, where if a, I think it had durability zero or something, or durability negative one, maybe negative two, based on the fact that it says negative two there. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is this tour might end up being a long time if we keep running into stuff like this. Uh, yeah, this is just basic items. Oh, um, I I have a chest hidden somewhere. I want to say it's like under this water. Oh gosh. Oh no, that torch was um. Hmm. 
<laughs> Can we... Oops. Oh, we did it. Oh, but we got rid of the water. Alright, put that back. Uh, Alright. <laughs> somewhere around here, there's definitely a, a hidden chest with all my good stuff in it. Um, oh, here it is. I thought it was here. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I decided to hide it, but there's a, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, let's just repair this. Okay. Moving along. So, yeah, there's basic stuff. This is when, when hoppers first came out. I made this little furnace system that would automatically smell stuff, and it was just the coolest thing ever. Use the lava buckets. Oh, there's another, another glitched item here. Uh, these are the original wood slabs, which can be broken with a pick, or could be, and they wouldn't burn. Oh my, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, that is just the coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh. It's huge. It's just a giant, undefined texture. Oh, that's so great. All right, if I place it, is it going to turn into a normal slab? Oh, it looks like it. Oh, oh no! It is. It, it's. It keeps it. Huh? It the, just the texture is messed up. Oh, that's so cool. Too bad it doesn't have the the texture of this block when it's placed. That would be fancy. So yeah, I I saved up a bunch of them. This was, you know, we we found out the update was coming out where wood slabs, uh, were gonna be changed so that they could burn and so that they could be broken with a with an axe, and I, I saved up a bunch of them in here. Uh, Ender pearls. there's a little, oh, there's a whole underground system to this uh, village, and that's connection. That's connecting to it right there. Uh, but let's, let's start moving along, because that's just one building, and I don't know how long it's been so far, but it feels like it's, it's taken a while. Uh, this looks like, oh, I was trying to, I was pulling out with an automatic, automatic fishing farm. And I guess I had the idea that all I really needed was a fence gate, a piston, and some redstone dust that connected to tripwires, and that was going to be enough. Uh, definitely not, though. You need more than that for an automatic fish farm. This little pumpkin melon farm, I think at one point was automated. I don't know. Right, let's see. Is this... Oh, there are still pistons. But nothing's powering them. Yeah, I think I had some trouble uh, figuring out how to power these without running into the wiring for this. For these little lights. Oh. <laughs> That's not right. This should be a log there. Uh, yeah, something to fix in the future. Anyway, moving along. Some houses. Uh, very nice. Small stuff. I, I went with some crazy differences in the design. Like, this one's cobblestone, uh, stone brick slab, stone brick, and oak wood, and then this one's stone brick, what is this, spruce and birch, and yeah, just all sorts of, all over the place. There's not really a theme other than the theme of, the theme of not having a theme, the theme of randomness. Is there a bed in here that we can sleep in? No. Right, let's go back. Uh, so yeah, a little farm there. I think at one point that was definitely automated, but I guess it's not anymore. I don't know where these chickens are coming from. There are like a few chickens wandering around here, and I don't think I ever had a chicken farm. So they must have just appeared. Eh, we'll leave them. Alright, over here, uh, you'll notice a bunch of villagers and iron golems. This thing is basically my version of trying to get villagers to spawn. Uh, I didn't make, like, an infinite breeder or anything, but this is just a whole bunch of doors. I don't know if these are even... I mean, I guess it's working because there are a lot of villagers, but I don't know if this is, like, set up properly. I just kind of spammed doors and blocks <laughs> and hoped for the best, and I guess it worked to a certain extent. Uh, a few villagers down here. What do you have? Why are you saved? Ooh, one written book for a number. That seems good. Oh, Infinity 1. That's probably why I saved them. Yeah, all sorts of guys. Oh, and these guys are all converted to the new new types of people. I wonder if we have any special trades because of the fact that they're, like, older. Tools. Like, I don't know. I forget what, what all the changes were that they made. Hmm? Looting one. Ooh, that's terrible. Oh, and I think that some of these 
Oh yeah, we got some Thorns 3 books. Bunch of random stuff. Oh, this reminds me. I think that all the resources you saw, uh, at least in this area, these are all got legit. All got legit. <laughs> these are all obtained legitimately without any... Uh, without any fancy farms or anything. So all this gold, all this iron is just mined. I don't think... At one point I made an iron farm. Uh, when I And you'll see that later on. Uh, yeah, some more houses. This thing. Uh, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second. But yeah, I don't think I ever made metal farms like a gold farm or an iron farm. Until I moved to another island uh, later on in this world. And I just made an iron farm. I don't... I don't know if I ever made a gold farm, because I always really liked gold, but I don't know if I remembered that gold farms existed. So yeah, this is my very first ever uh, redstone door. This is the second ever redstone project that I did in Minecraft. The first one, you ready to see it? First ever Minecraft redstone project. Oh yeah. I think that the they're supposed to turn on at the same time. I think it's going back and forth a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely a delay. Uh, so that was my first ever project. I had this idea to build a, a giant temple. Like I thought this was the this was gonna be the biggest thing I ever built in Minecraft. That's kind of a common theme with these. I always thought that they were so much more massive and epic than they actually were. And let's go see if we can take a look at the redstone. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Did I run a I ran a line of repeaters up each of these? I remember spending hours hours and hours uh working on this stuff. Oh my goodness. Uh and this temple was made before stairs came out, but I think I updated it with stairs later, which is why you see uh the stairs there now. Yeah, cuz you can run up it all this stuff. All this was different. Most of the builds here are actually uh, not in their original form. I, I tended to redo things once I, uh, once I saw that they, sh they should be changed and could be better. Uh, so this is a minecart system. I guess that I guess this will actually lead to the forest. The forest is out that way. It's that place you saw with those weird uh, birch buildings and uh, zombie spawner. I'll have to show that sometime. This so this was going to be the start of my uh, little minecart track area. I think this leads to the zombie spawner. In fact, or is this the? Maybe not. Yeah, I think that leads to the zombie spawner. Wait, this is going in the wrong direction, isn't it? I don't know. I'm sure it's connected somehow. I never really got around to completing this. This was one project that I kind of started near the end. You can tell uh, it's got coal blocks in the build, so it's it's more recent. I think I added those right when cold blocks came out. Because uh, I wanted to build with them and they're so cool and everything. But this is also connects. Oh, you see, originally this ladder was the only thing that connected to down here. Uh, but now it's, of course, connected with the rail system. But this ladder led down to here. This is the underground system I was talking about. Uh, I forget when I made this. It, it, it's gone through a few, a few design changes as well. You can tell... Uh, <laughs> I, the the whole design of this place was based around it being dark and having uh, these jack-o'-lanterns here because I thought it looked really cool with the lighting, which has changed since then. The lighting engine changed, and it made it a little bit different, a little bit less cool in my opinion, but it still looks kind of neat. Uh, right now we're underneath the villagers. You can hear them. Down there, that ladder goes up uh, right into my house, which is what we saw before. So basically every road in this place... Uh, is connected underground as well. And, oh, you know what? I didn't get to show you guys. Uh, okay, so this is the central hub. Let's find... I always get lost in this place. I think this is a way out. This is the temple, right? Yeah, okay. I want to show you guys one of the entrances to this, to this underground place because it's my favorite one and it's so cool. And it's in the center. It's in the the well I think it's probably the door is probably closed so if we go up here uh, we can see completely inconspicuous there's nothing like you would come down here and you'd think this is just ordinary ordinary well nothing to see here right but hidden button opens up a door <laughs> this was 
Uh, this was my favorite thing ever. And it closes back again. Oh, and I spent so long on the redstone for this because uh, the the floor above, or, or like the the road between the road <laughs> between the road and like here, there's only two blocks or so. So I was trying to smush the redstone down. I'm sure now uh, it, it it's like not. I'm sure it's not very complicated. I'm sure now with uh, new blocks and stuff, we could change a bunch of stuff. Uh, okay, so let's see. I guess we can tour down here a little bit. Down this way is my enchanting station. So this is uh, the way I used to do enchanting, which is... Do we have anything that can... No, it won't tell us. But basically, rather than having a system where the, the bookshelves moved up and down, I just had three enchanting tables. And I think this is still kind of a cool idea. Uh, basically, this is for low enchanting. Uh, mm, this is for high, and this is for medium. I think that's the way it works, yeah, because these, uh, only the top ones go to this one, and then both the, the bottom ones and the top ones will go to here. So depending on what level I wanted, I could do that, uh, oh, I just remembered, remember when enchanting used to be up to level 50? And I, I used to, like, grind at my zombie spawner for hours and get, like, hundreds and hundreds of zombies just to get up to level 50, and then use all the levels and get Bane of Arthropods like four on a sword oh my goodness that was, that was so much fun uh this is my enchanting room down here so if you potion yeah uh i guess some of these have stuff in them not many of speed some fire resist uh this was my version of like uh my first attempt at like it's kind of an automated one i actually have a real automated potion farm which i made and that's in my again there's an there's an island that I moved to later on. I feel like I'm, I'm walking through a story. Later on in the world, I move on to an island. And, uh, yeah, I build a whole bunch of more automated stuff there. And there's, like, a mob system and everything. But, anyway, this is this is kind of what I made to uh, help me make potions. So it's got all the different ingredients that you can click. And then the idea is that I would fill these up with water bottles. And then I could click it. And one button click would give me three water bottles, and that was so fancy. Uh, and then I put them in here. And, yep, that's that's pretty much it. Alright, moving along. I guess, uh, is there one more? There's one more place down here. Yes, which is this. This is my uh, nether, nether room, nether portal room. So I made it underground because I hated the noise of the nether portal. And this has that's, this has kind of a cool redstone thing that it builds. Uh, so it's closed right now. Oh, I didn't realize the particles came through. That's kind of neat. Uh, but there's actually... This is like a secret key combination, so... Yeah. You have, to, you have to do it the right way, which is... Two up on the left, and two down on the right, and it'll make it... Just a whole bunch of... I was fooling around with, like, RS nor latches and stuff. Uh, again, very early on in redstone for me, so I didn't even know that they were called RS nor latches. Or... Actually, what, what would these actually be called? Just, I don't know, different latches, or or gates and and gates and stuff like that. Uh, and then this stuff, which I'm, which I'm going through, this was because I used to die so much in the nether that I would never bring good stuff. So what I, I basically had dispensers with everything that I'd need. You know, I had stone picks because I, w I wouldn't want to take, you know, iron picks in. I might lose them. Uh, swords? Apparently I could bring iron swords. Oh, because I used to get them from the zombie spawner and I had tons. Uh, a bow, some arrows, ender pearls, shovel, everything. Everything you could ever need so that when you went into the nether you wouldn't die. And I guess really quickly, uh, I'll hop in here and show you the, the um, little nether hub that I made, which isn't much. Oh, right, right! I almost forgot. So when you come into the nether, I got this idea from an adventure map I saw this one time. This is the same room that I came from, but uh, flipped upside down. So you can see, I mean, not exactly because the dispensers, stuff like that. But you get the idea. The floor and the ceiling are different, and it's basically the whole thing is reversed. And instead of a ladder going up, there's a ladder going down to the uh, to the nether, nether floor. And then this is my nether hub with all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, <laughs> this floor went through a lot of different designs, and 
I do not like it now, and I never really liked it very much. Uh, but I wanted a cool like texture, and I thought it was cool because you know the stairs and everything, and stairs could like connect then. So I made connecting stairs, which was all fancy. Uh, but I'm not gonna go anywhere else right now. In fact, it's been a while. This episode's been a while, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna check the time real quick, uh, make sure we're not running too long, and then I'll be right back, and we can look more at the desert village. All right, we're doing fine on time. We can finish up uh, the rest of the desert village, no problem. So these are just some more houses. Uh, oh, oh, that's right. There was a chicken farm here. Uh, yeah. This is a little derpy. This is when I had so a few times I had some friends come on here. I opened it up uh, on on like a server, so there were some people on here, and this is somebody's house. We made a chicken farm. Very nice. Uh, and the eggs just fall down, and apparently some chickens came out here too. Uh, oh yeah, so this is some of his stuff. All right, yeah, uh, that's that. And I don't know. I think I built the house still. I don't think he actually built the house. But uh, a couple times uh, there were some people on here. And yep, just some just some more houses. I <laughs> some nether brick. Oh, very fancy. Uh, expanding the blocks that I used. Uh, very nice. Oh, I, I did some interior decorating. This is probably one of the very few times I did anything with interiors in Minecraft. And this is mostly just... Actually, I don't think I did anything. I think this is just... This just comes in the in the village houses, doesn't it? I think it does. Uh, yep, yeah, this is pretty pretty standard. I just replaced it with stone brick. And then this... Oh, yeah, this, this is one of the original houses, actually, just with uh, stone brick instead of cobblestone. So you can see it's it's one of the wooden houses, not a sandstone house. And I'd imagine that I was planning to tear this one down and replace it with another house that looks something like one of these. Uh, and by something like, I mean completely random block combination that looked somewhat decent together. And this, this is the last place here. Uh, the last big build, at least. And you can see it's got an interesting kind of stone brick weird scaffolding type thing. That is because, if we run up on here, uh, there's some water being held in. Uh, basically the entire, all the stone brick there is just because I needed something to hold in the water and I didn't, I don't know why I didn't, I could have just used like a couple of stairs or something, but I decided that just putting crazy amounts of half slabs was the best way to make it look decent. <laughs> Uh, and I also wanted like a stone brick theme eventually see when I started off It was just sandstone everywhere for the theme of this place, but eventually I kind of added Stone brick, so I guess I added some stone brick on here, too. I believe it was the door. Oh, yeah. Very nice very nice and uh, In here I've got some some pixel art of bread. So this whole thing is meant to be uh, a farm oh Okay, so I made this before hoppers existed. Uh, and then I added these hoppers later. Oh yeah, look at all the wheat and not much of anything else. So, I, well I guess I, I also made this before carrots and potatoes existed for that matter. And uh, yeah, this used to, this used to all be water right here. Wait, no. Am I down a level? No, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, so this used to this used to be a giant ring of water that just pushed everything to the center, and that's why all this redstone is kind of around the edges, and the way that this works is, this is also before, oh my gosh, this is before dispensers could dispense water, so I had to use pistons, and the idea was that I'd click the, uh, the button, and let's hop down here, I click the button, these pistons retract, the water here comes out, and it all works out oh so perfectly so that the water just kind of uh, oh, apparently I needed hoppers there maybe not quite oh so perfectly but eventually I worked it out so that the water kind of ended up uh, right here and it would just all go into these hoppers it used to go into the water stream but now it just goes into the hoppers and it all collects down I don't know if this place still works probably I guess we could test it I would have to replant it after afterwards but that's not a big deal uh, yes, yeah, so let's let's try that in a second. But then, uh, this was sort of my second layer, and what was going to be next were pumpkins and melons. See a little farm 
setup right here. I wasn't going to make it anything automated where like it would detect when they were grown. Uh, I don't I don't even really know what my idea was here. Oh, I guess it would be plant uh, pumpkin slash melon pumpkin slash melon plant plant pumpkin pumpkin plant that kind of a thing. Yeah, so I guess that was, that was, a, that was a decent setup. That wasn't so bad. I don't I don't know exactly uh, how I, I think I spent a lot of time coming up with like the design for this because I was trying to I figured that there had to be a better way to do it but and I'm sure that there is but uh, this is the best one I could come up with so let's go try this farm see if it still works I hooked it up to a lever down here and this is very much all of these builds are very much incomplete which I kind of like because it makes me want to fix stuff up like I could so easily just put some stone brick here and maybe I don't know what I'd do with the ladders. I still have to get up there to replant. Uh, so, yeah. Maybe maybe do something nice and make it look a little bit better. Um, hmm. Lever number one or lever number two? I'm pretty sure that it's this one. Oh, yep. Alright, let's go up there. See if we can catch... Uh, the way the water will already be out, but see if we can catch plants going down. Oh! Wait a minute. Shouldn't there be a whole bunch of items, or did they all just... Did they all go that fast? Uh, I can't see. I guess let's go down. And uh, see if it's in the chest. Oh yeah, there we go. Bunch of carrots, some potatoes in here, I guess, from before. Or maybe there were planted potatoes up there. I didn't really pay attention. Anyway, I'll replant that later. And uh, I think that about does it for the for the desert village as the sun sets on the horizon so that's going to be it for the very first tour episode probably based on how fast this one went maybe two more to go uh, i want to do next episode maybe some some stuff that's around here Ooh, a little bit of frame rate lag going on uh some of the outskirts around here like the this giant dome and some of the stuff out there there's a whole like garden area uh which is really cool one of my favorite builds actually is that right there there's a hole under it's like I made it so that there's leaves all over your head and you're just kind of in a little forest area which is really cool uh, and then there's also you know random stuff in the nether and there's an ender farm that I think I I made I'm not sure if I designed it or not uh, but yeah well I yeah I definitely made it I'm not sure if I designed it or not uh, so yeah there's a whole bunch of new stuff but let me know let me know what you think of the series. Let me know what you think of the new channel art. Let me know what you think of the music in the background. Let me know what you think of this weird frame rate lag. And uh, that's about it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.